how is it going samsung users mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i'll be showing you some really useful hidden samsung features that not many galaxy users know about and trust me all these tips and tricks will make your samsung using experience a lot better with that said stay tuned and watch this video till the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one so drop a like leave a comment and let's get started now we all use gestures to navigate our smartphones but did you know there are some hidden settings on your samsung device that can help you configure and make these gestures work even better when you are using the back gestures you need to swipe from the extreme edges of your screen and sometimes if your phone has a curved display it just doesn't work as expected now if you want you can actually increase the sensitivity of this portion so you don't have to swipe from the extreme edges if you want to go back let me show you how to customize the navigation gestures on your smartphone all you have to do is just head over to the galaxy store and install the goodlock app once done simply open and here you need to download the navstar module now go inside navstar turn on the setting and here you can actually increase or decrease the back gesture sensitivity on both sides not only this we can also customize the gesture handle that we have at the bottom you can increase the handle with adjust the transparency and it even allows you to change the color depending on your wallpaper now let's say you don't use gestures and you prefer using the navigation buttons then you can configure that as well you can assign different actions by adding additional buttons to it you can customize the navigation bar height and even make it disappear when you are using certain apps on your phone Next, let's talk about the Samsung internet browser that I'm sure a lot of you must be using on your phone. In case you don't have this app installed, just go to the Galaxy store and search for Samsung browser. I think it's one of the best browser you can get for your Galaxy device. Now, let's say you love listening to music or your favorite podcast is available on YouTube, then there is this really useful feature inside the browser that you need to turn on. Simply click on this menu icon, go to settings and then select useful features. Here you will find something called as background play. Just go ahead and turn on this feature. Once enabled, now any video you play through Samsung browser will continue to play even when you close the app and do some other work on your phone or you can listen in the background with the screen turned off. This can be super useful when you are listening to your favorite song or podcast on YouTube. Another interesting feature that I found inside this browser is when I search for any picture, for example, let's search for cars. I just need to click on images and here we have got the picture of different cars. Now what I'll do is, I'll just press and hold on this image and I have this option at the bottom that says clip image from background. If I click on it, it basically removes the subject from the background and you can easily save the PNG file directly from the internet. This image clipper feature is already present in the gallery but now you can use this awesome feature while browsing the web. You can easily remove the background of any picture when you are browsing and the best part is it works on any website. So Samsung browser has got some amazing features and I will highly suggest you to start using this over the Google Chrome. The next setting is really useful if you are someone who always prefers using their phone on low brightness and don't want to change the brightness manually whenever you open gallery or launch the camera to take pictures. To enable this setting, go inside modes and routines, select routines, tap on this plus icon and now for the if condition, you need to select app opened, then select camera and the gallery app. You can also select YouTube if you like watching videos in higher brightness and click on done. For the then condition, select display and then set the brightness depending on your requirement. Once done, just give a name to this routine and tap on save. Now whenever you open these apps on your phone, your phone's brightness will go up automatically and if you exit the app, it will lower the brightness to its normal level. This can be super useful when you are trying to take photos, you can clearly see what you are trying to capture or even when you are browsing through all the pictures in your gallery, it will automatically adjust your phone's brightness. Now let's say you want to copy something from the web. The simplest way to do it is to open the edge panel, go to smart select tool and tap on pin and insert. Then you can take a precise screenshot and pin it to your home screen. Now open the app in which you want to paste the text. Finally, you can click on this text icon to copy the text directly from the screenshot that you have taken. I think it's one of the best way to copy anything from the pictures or even screenshots. In case you don't have smart select in your edge panel, then just go to display, select edge panel and then go inside panels. Here you need to enable the smart select option, that's it. Next, let me show you a really useful trick related to files app. 
Let's say you are browsing all your files and documents in the files app and if you quickly want to view something, you just tap on it and it opens that in a separate window. Instead, if you really want to open that particular file in a split screen window for better multitasking, what you can do is simply long press and move it towards the right or left corner side. Now you can see we have got the split screen option. So you can drag it towards the upper half or lower half of your screen as per your need and it opens that file in a split screen window for better multitasking. Not only this, you can also open any image in a pop-up window directly from the files app and it comes really handy when you want to view multiple files at the same time. So next time when you are browsing your files and documents, definitely make use of this amazing feature. Next in the settings, if you go inside accessibility, here you get this option called time to take action. This basically controls the amount of time for a temporary on-screen notification or the volume panel to stay on your screen. There are times when you get a notification or any pop-up on your screen and before you take action, that notification disappears. This same thing happens with the volume panel. Sometimes it gets disappear even before you take the appropriate action. Now if you want to increase the time to take action, then go to accessibility and change the time to take action. It is set to default but you can change it to 10 or 30 seconds as per your requirement. Now if you bring up the volume slider, it's going to stay longer than the actual time and if you still want to make it disappear, then simply tap anywhere on the screen. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some amazing hidden features for your Samsung phone. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.